one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Whether you guys know it or not, I am someone who criticizes myself more than anything because I need to keep myself honest. And now that I saw this, a PSA, I need to cover this because it is very important. This is Sui... Suisse from Hochimachi Suisse from Hollow Life doing a actual a PSA. So this is really scary how speculation could spread in an instant, become the truth, and leave impression on many people. Please double check what you're about to spread is really something you should be spreading. No matter how much I am mocked, I think that what I can do is influence to appeal to people regularly, so I'm sending this out again. This is very good for her to send it. <clears throat> and yes, on my side, there has been a lot of speculation. I have speculated on a lot of things. I make sure to always put it as rumor. I make sure to always mark it as a rumor because uh, I don't want it to be marked as gospel. I don't want it to be marked as it is 100% that way. And if there's ever any uh, corrections that need to be made, I always make sure to, to do that. And I will make sure to do that in the future as well. I have made corrections on some recent things that I have said, and I have made corrections on some recent issues and uh, theories that are around there, the, the rumors that are around there. Uh, I made sure to put both sides out there. I will continue to do so. Uh, and I know that you guys will keep me honest as well. And you guys will tell me when there is new information out there that is even contradictory to the things that I have said. Because as someone who is an arbiter of information right now, I do try to be as honest as I can and work with the information that is out there. Does that mean that I'm going to be making mistakes? Absolutely. And when those mistakes come out and I'm called out on it and I am informed of the mistakes and which mistakes they have, have been made, I will correct myself. I've always done that in the past and I will continue to do that in the future. That is my promise to you guys moving forward as well. Here is a post with every Niji ID liver, uh, their colors, the, the color that is associated with them and graduated to make a flag. It looks like a rainbow flag. It looks like just rainbows, colors of the rainbow. An obligatory meme that dug up from Parrot's video, which is this one. Also, they all have the colors of the rainbow. Uh, it's not going to lie. You go design the coolest one among the livers. What a waste. Yeah, Yugo had a really cool design. If you look at this again, Yugo had a really cool design. It's the one between Kyo and Selen. Had a really cool design. I like that one. Uh, now we need obligatory bingo meme. Colors according to the virtual YouTubers wiki. They, these are the, the hex colors, the hex codes for the colors. Uh, if you know you want to look for the, on a color palette, on a digital color palette, that's what you do. So Riska, Riksa used a particular hex code. Folger did. Oh, nice. Okay, beautiful. I missed them. And yes, some people debuted and remind us of them. Uh, and the sisters say we're not pro-LGBT around here. That's a little bit of a joke there for them. Uh, Pride flag is it's called. Flag of S Company victims. Uh, brilliant. Hanging onto the back of my car. It's just accelerate, pretty much. But yeah, it sucks that all these people were lost. But of course, they're uh, moving on to bigger and better, hopefully. It is unfortunate news, but someone is going to be graduating. For here, it says Suzuka Utako, one of the oldest Niji Sanji livers who debuted as part of the second generation of Niji Sanji JP. Not even of Niji Sanji EN, second generation Niji Sanji JP. So somewhere around 2018, 2019, or 2016, or whatever it was, the original date. Very, very early on. He's in the same generation as Fumino Tamaki and, and Kenmo Chitoya. Utako is leaving. Another Choko Sensei friend, basically that old. Uh, glad she's escaping the yacht. They got credit for putting out a positive appreciation graduation notice rather than a character assassination hit piece at least. Utako has been held back by the content restrictions for a while now, so it'll be interesting to see what she can achieve as an indie. And just to show proof that is an actual thing, here it is over here. Pleased to announce, I think they the, this is a bad machine translation, at least it seems like a bad machine translation, of uh, our liver, Suzuko Utako, will be graduating on June 12th, and I made sure to translate the announcement. It is here, and it is as big as I can make it. I apologize if it's not big enough, but I'm going to read it for you guys. It says, Uteko Suzuka graduation report. This is, of course, a Google translation, so just uh, pardon the maybe mistranslations in some parts. Thank you very much for your continued support of the virtual library groups, Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji EN. As of June 12th, 2024, our company's liver, Utako Suzuka, will be graduating from Niji Sanji. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the fans and related parties from all over the world supporting Utako Suzuka and supporting her activities. Utako Suzuka debuted as a member of the second generation Niji Sanji on March 7th, 2018, so she's been there for six years, and was loved by fans as Ut Utano-san. Uto, uh, Uta ono -san, Uta ono -san. Jesus Christ, that was bad, sorry. Uh, while she was active as a singer, she enlivened the broadcast with her unique characters and choice of words and engaged in various activities. 
I would like to express my sincere gratitude and respect for your efforts thus far. Basically, the company would like to express the gratitude. Uh, please note that SNS such as YouTube, Membership, X, formerly Twitter, will be closed to the public on June 13th, 2024, so one day after the graduation. Sales of content such as goods, voices will be gradually suspended, probably by the end of the month. Uh, the archive of YouTube will remain open to the public even after graduation. Fan letters will be accepted until July 31st, 2024. Once again, thank everyone for your support and supporting of Utako Suzuka. For all inquiries, please contact any color and do not contact the talent themselves, as is always the case. This one seems to be a more positive note. So it's basically a appreciation for everything they've done. And of course, a mention that they are graduating. Seems like more people are graduating. I accelerate in the opposite direction. Uh, it says only subscribe to her for ASMR videos, but it's a shame that she's graduating. Seems like her archive is going to remain even after graduation, so I wouldn't have to download ASMR videos. Good luck to her and her plans. And Arnie DeSanji is still on lockdown, even after two graduation notices, plus a Meat Wave debut. Um, and uh, someone is saying in with the new. I'm going to take a look at this and see what's popping up. Anyone got a peg for PL yet? Um, this is basically, uh, yeah, this is the same thing. This is the same one. Uh, remember, like, Chihiro, she was banned from having a family on streaming. She's also a woman who often made jokes about Shota. Toya is is a man uh, whose his father's on streaming shows, involved publications, streaming shows in publications, and constantly makes jokes about Lolita messes, and without Lolita being talent, by the way, there's no favoritism in Nidhi Sanji. Yeah, exactly. Uh, damn, half of the SKB are gone. At least Gundo Mire, another SKB member, has returned to streaming under NDPL account. Genuinely thought uh, Suki no Mito when I looked at the design. Uh, a good luck to Utako. Uh, seems like you aren't the, one of the top talents. It's not really worth being an ED Sanji these days. We'll see. Hopefully Utako uh, is going to have the PL come out soon. And hopefully they have a lot of luck in that. And that's my honest and to goodness hope that they have a lot of good luck moving forward with their activities. Here is a personal uh, graduation analysis from this person. So at the new graduation announced a short analysis post to see if we can glean any information from it. Last post about Bonavir's graduation, I said the floodgates of graduation might have started to open again and wonder to see more in the near future. Today's probably, you know, kind of opened that up. What uh, if she just waited for her contract to go out? What is at, as always a reasonable question. It's much harder to try to gauge from old livers, though. To demonstrate that, we'll compare Chihiro's case, who debuted just one month prior to Suzuka, but graduated five months earlier than her in January 2024. Suzuka debuted on March 31st and graduating June 24th, roughly six years later, more or less translates to three contract terms just about if it's if we take the two year contract term to be it. But it has four to five months extra. On the other hand, Chihiro debuted on February 2018th and graduated January 2024. Immediately, one can see Chihiro's graduation lines up very well with when she debuted the one month difference about when the contract was signed. Uh, prior to Nidhi Sanji could have been fine without releasing one month early. We assume that the extension of Nidhi Sanji's second generation of contracts always follow the first generation of contracts by one month. Then Suzuka could be graduating through the contract expiration. However, this is a very heavy assumption and not necessarily true. Members uh, as old as Suzuka may have presumably extended their contract at least twice. It also gives them the chance to have renegotiated their contract at least twice. As such, they may have either asked for a term of different length uh, maybe, you know, three to four months shorter or maybe, you know, different length, different time when it expires rather than the default two years. Or they may have asked for additional benefits like being able to resign at any point. All things considered, three main uh, options that this person has, sees here. This is, of course, all speculation and just opinion. Uh, Suzuka's contract expired now due to her leaving previously, having previously extended it to non two year spans. Suzuka asked for a graduation at some point earlier than this. Didi Sanji waited until now. Or Suzuka had the power to graduate earlier, even though expiration uh, or otherwise, but Nidhi Sanji convinced her not to do so yet through negotiations. The problem with one is that it's a little coincidental that Suzuka would have extended her contract in just the right way to avoid graduation at Nidhi's darkest time. Coincidentally, lining up with very close to Bonavir's graduation, which also happened to avoid that time period, it happens to know, it. if anyone happens to know, if there's any big projects happening around this time, let me know. Uh, two, seems to imply that they extended the contract back in February, March and changed her mind about it later which would have certainly be strange. If she did that, it wouldn't surprise me if Nidhi Sanji said no, and it would almost be more surprising that it eventually and so quickly said yes, but it seems unlikely that this was the case at all. Three, according to this person, seems to have another small problem, that Suzuka waited to graduate in February and Selen shock was the reason why Nidhi Sanji changed policy. They wouldn't have had time to negotiate with her otherwise, since she would have asked to graduate three months prior. However, the idea that the liver's goodwill is what causes a lot of these graduations to get delayed. Uh, rather than Nidhi Sanji forcing them is certainly one parameter that should not be forgotten, especially in the case of Japanese livers. After all, after six years, 
What's a few more months of waiting? At worst, Niji Sanji allows you to just wait it out by not streaming at all and doing other things with your life in the meantime. Overall, I don't think I have an option that likes the best. All three of my speculations seem to have something off about them. So this person is very honest about the speculations being off because it makes a lot of assumptions, of course. And usually things tend to be more complicated behind the scenes than we realize anyways. There's something to take away here is that there's also a specific version of the truth that might vary. It seems highly unlikely, highly likely, that some sort of manipulation from Nidhi Sanji is going around at the time of graduation, even though it's not as bad as some speculation would have it. To leave things off, putting the analytical mindset aside for a moment, no matter the circumstances of her graduation, I hope Suzuka does well. Me too. I hope he does well. So I just had a, Utako just had a 3D stream. Imagine she wanted to do that before going and graduating. Uh, it's pretty well known that people have to book the 3D streams months in advance and they have too little available studio time for the amount of time of uh, talents that they have. See, there's reasonable hypothesis that she's been planning this since before the 3D, but she got her 3D, so she wanted to wait a little bit. Uh, something with management so she can get it before she graduates. Simpler reason for graduation being deferred would be other contractual obligations after the end of the normal contract term, like saying they have sponsorships, saying they have other things they have to do, the song, etc. Uh, that would require them to, to extend the contract, like already managed sponsorship deals or prearranged events. Sounds somewhat reasonable, though, to be fair, I doubt they'd arrange his deals to continue after the contract expired. It's true, but you never know. Sometimes um, a sponsor could be like, I really want this person, and I won't do it if this person's not there. Uh, sponsors do have some kind of power to do that as well. It's possible they negotiate a later graduation uh, if a sponsorship is there. I'm a little bit more surprised that there's very little reaction from the EN community. Uh, Suzuka isn't actually well known outside Japan's VTuber community. It uh, doesn't have many known history collaborations with non-JP livers due to the language barrier. Also, no confirmed info as to whether she would hold a graduation stream or talk personally about what's going on and what she wants to do after graduation. You know, and this person saying it's also a possibility that they gave her a ridiculous graduation date and then offered her a shorter contract extension so that it would expire closer to her desired graduation date. You see things like that in the military sometimes. This person's talking on military experience. Could be different from a corporal uh, standpoint, but you never know. When someone's contract is about to expire, their admin hasn't gotten enough to let them get out cleanly and expiration date of their existing contract. It would help them ease their shareholders fears a little by, you know, having it expire at a good, better time, etc. You know, uh, it reduces also the number of early contract terminations favorable or otherwise. So this, like I said, is all uh, just someone's speculation. There's a lot of speculation going around. I want to market as speculation. I want to market as a you know thought experiment, a question, etc., just to be more fair and honest. This is another thought exercise, another a question, whatever you want to call it. it. Says why are they not giving their silver play buttons? Is it for morale? Um, because if they don't have it, then of course the morale drops. This is what the person says. Because uh, they want to gaslight them into thinking they're worthless without the corporation. The reason why people think that is because every single one that's out there that has left. The organization seems to have a belief that they were nothing without the organization, that they were not going to be able to be anything outside of the organization. Now, if this was just their own personal beliefs or something that was brought about by the way that they were treated, we don't know. We just know the way that they were. They talked like Matara um, talked like that as well. Uh, we have Kenan Kuro. We have, you know, Michi Mochi V, which is uh, Miki, Mika Melatika. They all, even uh, not Pomu slash Made Mint, they are the ones who have said all these things. Even Doki Bird thought she wasn't marketable, you know, and look at her now. Don't want to believe it, but their narrative is Niji wants their livers to feel worthless or negligible. Essentially, they want to install the mindset that they are nothing without the company. So far, just based on the way that the people felt, like I said, it could just well have been they didn't have very high esteem of themselves before joining Niji Sanji and it just continued on. Or it could be that Niji Sanji did it uh, intentionally or just by the way that they acted when uh, with them and were acted towards them while they were in Nidhi Sanji. It could be very many factors. Uh, I can't really put a finger on exactly what it is, but a lot of the theory is that it is because they want them to feel less than and stay with the company as much as possible. And people say worst part is that the only explanation that makes sense since you can ask you to multiple buttons and paying something about 100 US dollars, which is basically pocket change for big companies. Heck, even Hololive did that for uh, Fuamoko, which is two people, but one channel. They gave them two play buttons. So they paid an extra for a play button, an extra play button for them. So they have two play buttons and this company doesn't do that. So th that's the reason why these, these theories pop up. Uh, and people are just repeating the same theory repeating the same theory around so i'm not going to keep reading all these comments but they're all pretty much saying the theory of they don't want them to feel important now this is just a opinion i'm guessing and a rumor because there is no way especially with with 4chan being the way that it is this person is assuming that this is actually finana posting on 4chan uh there is no way to know because it is an anonymous message board so this is absolutely a rumor this is absolutely unsubstantiated except for the fact that it is a post that has finana eggs in there 
It says more. These eggs, it's delicious. It looks delicious. The food looks delicious. And it says you Fs can see the mauled while Fanana enjoys herself. This could just be a Fanana enjoyer, Fanana fan, which they're very entitled to do whatever the heck they want to do when it comes to uh, fortune. This person says, in this case, it feels like an attempt to try to boost her ego and pride. Uh, she also has been fractured due to obvious reasons. It's a post she was responding to. This is, again, assuming that it is Finana. Party you guys. Your regards are welcome, are wholesome. Uh, cheesy, cringe, but wholesome. And uh, panders to GFE, loves her fans, dedicated fan base, encourages lewd artwork, always streams, kind of dumb, and yet she has never been hated, but turned her reputation into a laughingstock. Again, like I said, this is more... Uh, you know, marks me as a rumor, marks me as someone who maybe just doesn't like the liver and is doing this. But if it is true, then yes, they do have a right to go to whatever message board they want and say whatever they want in whichever way they want. Of course, it says if they really think they're going to engage 4chan on their own turf, defending themselves is a good idea, then I pity them. Not sure if that's actually her or usually Niji's sister shielding. Like I'm saying, it could very easily be a Niji's sister. Doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be her. Uh, if it's really her, damn, it's a masochist or something. Almost everyone unanimously hates her there. Uh, yeah, pretty much there. A lot of people saying don't care. Of course, I can agree that um, really there are better things to worry about. Is the uh, view post engagements enough proof? Sorry, I haven't been in the hellhole. Yes, you can only check engagement stats on your own posts. Uh, that's something you can only see on your own tweets. Uh, people love to speculate, but realistically, I doubt it's her posting that. There's still needy sisters that think blindly defending the company under the notion of protecting the talents uh, is by trying to bait in actual aunties into making a scene. It's nothing worth mulling over in my book. I agree with that. It's just let them be. If it's a, if it's an Iji Sanji shill, if it's an Iji Sanji defense force, if it's the actual talent, just let them be. And there's no way to really know uh, who it could be just based on these speculations here. This big speculation rumor territory all proves that someone in 4chan posted a picture of a recent tweet of hers. There's no way of knowing it's actually posted it. View post engagements is only available in someone's old posts. But yeah, um, these things here, view post engagements on this, um, I don't, it doesn't, it really doesn't ring to me like it, it's actually Fanana again. Um, it's that this view post engagements here is, is something that maybe they're taking it from a screenshot that Finana posted at some point in time. That could be something there. They're taking this whole view post engagement. They're, they're putting a tinfoil hats on and they're being like, that's it. That's, that's, that's the proof. That's the smoking gun we need. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. A little bit of meme time. Of course we have the pot of greed. Uh, the memes are always around. It says summon pot of Riku to release three new gen members under the same bus. All right. Then I attack. I win. You control no managers. Invites two more livers into Niji Sanji, you literal liver, uh, your literal liver. Uh, someone can chain Ash Blossom and Joel on him. Uh, the totally negligible. Imagine being Riku in 2019 and think that Suisse is unmarketable and not good enough for the yacht. Niji mods also share the same uh, sentiment even today. What this is talking about is a Suisse also mentioned, you know, she she had she was an independent. She came in to Hollow Live through Inunaka Music uh, with her independent uh you know, creation. She created Suisse herself. She learned Life 2D and created Suisse herself, the, the actual model that you see, the original model that she had. And she wanted to have it and her community join her in Hololive. Hololive said they can't do it under Hololive. After the second try, they said they can't do it, but they can do it under Inunaka Music. She's like, okay, I'll join. But she also mentioned that she tried for every other company under the sun that was available at the time, which means Nidhi Sanji was one of them. I don't know which other ones were available during the time that she was there. That she was doing all this, but yes, she said that she tried to go into Niji Sanji. She used to be an indie with the same model and name, applied and wanted her own IP, but I don't know if she owns her IP. Right now, I think she maybe uh, gave it to, like, you know, with money, with, you know, it was money was exchanged probably if she doesn't own her IP at this moment for Hololive to own it because Hololive likes owning their IPs, likes owning every IP that they have, every uh, liver that they have, every VTuber that they have, because that allows them to do sponsorships, that allows them to do promotional materials without having to worry about paying royalties. Tried applying to multiple agencies. Even Hololive turned her down the first, but gave her a second chance. Be unmarketable under Master Tazumi's oppressive regime. But guess what? Instead, she's one of the most famous VTubers today. So that's a little bit of a memeing on, on, on Riku because Suisse is an amazing singer and does amazing stuff. So that's one of those things. And also, um, streaming together, negligible, right? And they, 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 they actually wrote negligible wrong. Negliable. Um, Monster Hunter World, 536 to 72, 2383 uh, for, for Made Mint. And Apex is 4220, which was an Apex Legend scrim from uh, Doki Bird. So even all their, their things together were not able to hit that. And that's because of the EN thing. And the, the EN right now is a meme among everybody. Not because the livers themselves are a meme. Uh, the livers have nothing to do with this, a lot of them at least. Um, but the Niji Sanji EN has screwed the pooch so much that they really 
have no redeeming qualities as it is in organization uh, in the whole way that they're doing things. The organization is just really messed up. It says altogether not even equal to made mint. Meanwhile, Doki and Ditto, DTTO, two versus one RPRs, less CCV than Ghost. What a shame. So yeah, that's a bit of a meme at this point. Like the whole Niji EN is pretty much a meme at this point. And something covered in the past of the merch being sold. Of course, this isn't unless it's a this is a Niji Sanji owned store, unless it's a Niji Sanji affiliated store, and not just like one of those like pop-ups that buy a bunch of things from Niji Sanji and then sell them and then just wait until all their stuff is sold out. Um, it's a music store in Japan. So it like if it's a music store in Japan, this could just be, you know, the Japanese owner buying all these things and then selling them off. And, you know, it's merch that hasn't sold. So they still have it on their shelves. It's not like the store is going to throw out old merch like that. If I was in the U.S., they'd probably get bought up by scalpers, though. They actually selling merch or is it just stores backlog? It's probably stores backlog at this point. Char is trying to sell off merch. <clears throat> That's my full belief in this. It's the stores. If they have the merch, they're not going to stop selling it. They have the merch, they're going to put it out there. They are, um, of course, after a while, they can consider it a loss and they can put that on their tax returns. I don't know how it works in Japan, but I know in the US, I've worked for large retailers that I will not name. And they do that. Sometimes they take it as a loss. And if, especially if it's an old stuff, it's old stock that doesn't sell, take it as a loss and they mark it as a loss on their tax returns because they can do that. Might also just be old stock. Yeah, it's just pretty much it's old stock. So it's, it's a nothing burger in the sense of it's not Nidhi Sanji doing this. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.